Today for Habitat Day, our project is going to be marine life. Introduction. So I'm parents, and today we are going to uh, tell you all about the coral reef and how it affects us, us humans and how we affect it. We hope you enjoy. Um, our chosen orga organism for this for today is going to be coral reefs. Essential question. Our essential question is what would happen if we removed our organism, the coral reefs, from the Pacific Ocean? What would happen to our ecosystem? What are corals? Corals are not plants. They are actually animals. Scientists say that scientists say that corals are actually millions and millions, or possibly billions, microscopic bugs or bacteria uh, mixed together or stuck together. Then that makes a coral, just like in this picture. These like tiny little bugs mixed together. Corals are a very unique animal and can come in different shapes and sizes. Uh, uh, and different uh, and very beautiful uh, color too. Uh, all, all of the corals in like a group and in the in group uh, and animals interacting with it is called the coral reef. Location. Our location in, is in the Pacific Ocean, and the Pacific Ocean covers most most of most of the part of the Earth. Um, 100, 100, 161 million cubic miles in the Pacific Ocean. It is located between Australia, uh, Australia, Asia, North America, and South America. Weather and climate. In the ocean, the weather can be either very cold or very hot. When the volcanoes erupt, then it becomes very hot. But when the volcanoes don't erupt for a very long time, then it becomes very cold. Human impact. People make man-made islands. And then oil spills happen, which can break the coral reefs and sometimes kill fishes too. And even a lot of people on the ships litter in the ocean. Here's one uh, food chain of the coral. Okay, so the shark eats the octopus, the octopus eats the parrotfish, the parrotfish eats the coral, and the coral eats the sea slug. Okay, so the shark eats the octopus. The octopus eats the a parrotfish, the parrotfish eats the coral, the coral eats the sea slug, and the sea slug eats the phytoplankton. Primary and secondary consumers. So I'm gonna talk I'm gonna talk about what primary and secondary consumers do. Primary consumers are like the big animals that interact with the corals, let's say uh, the, the giant turtle. The, the giant turtle uh, is on is the top of the food chain and and eats eats the secondary consumers. The secondary consumers are the small fish or small animals like the like the corals. The the corals are the second second most part of the uh, of the um, food chain. Role of coral reefs. In this slide, we are going to talk about what coral reefs are important for, why they are here. Well, first of all, coral reefs are important. They are food and shelter to 50,000 animals inside of the coral reef, the coral reef. The coral reef has a barrier called the barrier reef, which underneath it is, can be, they can be, it's a great place to grow because there's enough sunlight for it to shine through, and the currents of the wave are, are supporting it, they're like against it. Usually, when plants go outside of the barrier reefs, the, uh, the plants on the outside, they usually die because the current drags it away and kills it from the roots. Fun facts. Around 70% of the Earth's surface is covered in water. The world's ocean contains enough water to fill a square 1,000 kilometers, 621 miles, in, by length. Ocean tides are caused by the moon and sun's gravitational pulls. While the, uh, while the, uh, sorry, the ocean tides are caused by the Earth's rotation. While the moon and sun's gravitational pulls acts on the ocean water. There is a heart-shaped coral in Australia. Coral support, supports the biggest marine diversity. 
would happen if coral was removed? A lot of bad things would happen, like animals such as clownfish, starfish, and crabs would die. Um, coral also supports the biggest marine diversity, and climate would change. Common questions asked. How much water is in the ocean? Scientists estimate that there is 1,386,000,000 kilometers of water in the ocean. And how many animals live in the ocean? No one knows for sure how many animals are in the ocean, but we have, so far, we've discovered one, over one million animals and scientists say there can be as many as 9 million undiscovered. Conclusion. So what can we take away from this, power, from this PowerPoint? We can take away that um, coral reefs are microscopic, really tiny animals that are really colorful. When they join together and they stick really hard, they look like corals. And when animals go inside of it to live and eat and lay their eggs, they become a coral reef. Um, Coral reefs can be affected by man-made islands. Now, there's no problem if we make lighthouses in man-made islands as long as we mind our space from what Allah has created for us. Um, to, for what Allah has created to us, we have to find the meaning of it. We have to find out why Allah created it. And once we do, um, we can really understand We can really understand what coral reefs are for. Any questions? Comments? Concerns? Can you find where do you where would you normally find the coral reefs? Like what part of the waters? Well, um, s s some corals go down to 150 feet, uh, but but most of the corals go down to 450 feet. Okay, but like, can I find them like in the North Pacific, South Pacific? We'll, we'll see North Pacific and find them up higher there. Okay. Because do they be live in cold cooler? waters, yeah. warm waters. Mostly they're mostly. They're near the equator, okay. the ocean. They're near the equator. That's where it gets a lot warmer. Not, it's not always cold. It's mostly warm down there. And that's what it can amaze you from the diversity. Mm -hmm. Why did you talk about it all day? Because that's what we're. That's our topic. <laughs> where is the most uh, abundance as far as coral reefs go in the world? Um, is there a reef of some sort or something where... Oh, oh the, there what? is a coral reef shaped like a heart we found out. No, sure and um, the, the, really cool. the, biggest, the biggest coral reef in the world is called the Great Big Barrier Reef. And where is that located? We don't know for sure. It's mostly, I think it's located near Australia. That's where also the heart shape, so it's in Australia. So. Mashallah. Because, okay.